When it comes to some of the things that you've learned and just watching the different different companies go ahead and raise capital on your platform, but we just did a talk the other day and we were like the number one thing, you know, we invest in some companies and it was like the number one thing we look for is like storytelling to some extent, like what's the story, right? We'll look at your deck, maybe I call that like a number two, um, but ultimately it's about story and founder. When you guys mm -hmm. sort of teach your group is it similar? Are you seeing like the things that get the most traction N might not necessarily be the best edited video or the best, you know, highly produced thing, but it's more around the story that is being told. What's the thing? Like if you, if you were to give someone tips on, this is what we've seen work across the board. Yeah. What are some of those things? I think, I mean, I wish I had something groundbreaking that differs from what you just said, but I, it's pretty aligned with what you came away from through that experience. It's it's storytelling and it's talking about your business and it's having a pitch that is concise, efficient, personal, and also data-driven. <laughs> Here are some things to avoid when someone asks you like what you do. And you're like, well, when I was in college, I once ate this snack and I was like, what is that? And then I, you know, and like <laughs> 10 minutes down, you're still like talking about this one little anecdote and nobody has any idea what your product or services or the problem it's solving, that's an example of what not to do, right? Like you mm -hmm. want to be able to, within the first 15 seconds of answering someone's question about what it is that your business does, they should understand exactly what it is, right? And right. that's a practice. And so you got to just get out there and talk to anyone who will listen, a wall, a dog, a cat, a friend, a podcast host, anyone, <laughs> because it's all valuable practice for you. And you learn and getting feedback, right? Was it clear to you how I talked about my business just then? Like, did you understand exactly what we do? Like, I, okay, I know, you know, I have a website, but do you get like what actually people can do on my website? Like things like that. It's important to just make yourself vulnerable to that sort of feedback because it will make your pitch stronger in the long run. And also having data to support, you know, the, the story that you're telling, right? How big is the problem that you are solving, right? Mm -hmm. It's important to just come with, with a data-driven approach. In addition to, you know, also making it unique, you're not a robot. So it's okay to explain how you relate to the problem that you're solving. Just make sure that, you know, you're speaking to the larger market that you intend to serve. That's actually one thing I look for the most is like, are they solving a problem that is so deeply personal to them or that they've been affected by? Because that to me signals like they're willing right. to walk through or run through a wall to solve this issue and they won't quit because they need it back more than anyone else. Karen K9 needed I fund women, but so do the 1800 other women entrepreneurs who are starting new businesses every day. Yeah. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, it works. I've been receiving a lot of decks lately around this adaptogen market and not one of the decks has explained to me like, what is this market? They're all like, look how well we're doing. And I'm like, who gets adaptogens? Right. Is it a coffee thing? Is it in their drinks? Is it a creamer? Why lion's mane? Like, I would like, love I'm to so work with confused. you, Diego, <laughs> because you're just, this, this is the type of, this is what I'm saying. These are the reminders I need on a daily basis that it's okay to ask questions like that. Cause you see adaptogens everywhere and you're like, Okay, I guess that's a thing everybody understands. So I'll just go with it, you know? <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, and then I invite fair. people like you on the podcast to like teach me about this adaptogen market. And then I'm like, oh, now I'm an expert. Awesome. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm the adaptogen expert. Mm hmm.